It's Wednesday, October the 26th, 2015. A great day to you today as we are looking at the Word of God, letting it dwell in our spirit and mind and, and purify us and cause us to hunger and thirst after Him. We're looking at the word remember this week, and I have a great verse for us today. It is found in Galatians chapter 2. In the context of this chapter, Paul's defending his call to the uncircumcised where Peter had a call to the circumcised and states very clearly that James, Cephas, and John had given to he and Barnabas a great hand of fellowship telling them to go on with the journey. And then we read these words in verse 10 of Galatians 2. They desired only that we should remember the poor, the very thing which I was also eager to do. I, I really have felt in my spirit that this is a great thing for us to talk about today. We're quickly approaching uh, special holidays, celebration days in America, and, and Thanksgiving and Christmas and the New Year's Day are, are going to be here in just a, a breath if the Lord tarries. And I, I, I want you to know that you're well aware of the poverty that exists in America and that this scripture to remember the poor, that Cephas, James, and John would, uh, would instruct Paul and Barnabas to do is a great word for us to remember. I mean, so many of us, we, we spend money on ourselves without uh, consciously taking account of, wow, that latte was $6 with tax and I left a dollar tip or a 50 cent tip. And, and I did that three times this week. And, and so I've spent $18 on, on coffee. And, and I, I'm just picking on coffee, not because I don't like coffee, but simply it's just something that so many Americans are doing, spending quite a bit of cash over the course of a year on. And, Here's our instruction. Remember the poor. So for me, the, the word has got an action to it. It's, it's like, don't just think about it. Remember to do something about the poor. In fact, uh, pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and the widows and, and our orphans and in their affliction and, and to, to do something about people who hurt in a physical, financial, even a material way. Somebody may not have a meal today and you're going to cross paths with them. What are you going to do? Say to them, be filled and go on your way. God bless. Or are you going to say, wow, and I can give up that latte to buy my hamburger today. I can give up that uh, soda or whatever it might be. I, maybe you're not going to give anything up. Maybe there's extra in your pocket and you can just be a blessing to them. And I, I want you to hear what Paul said because this is, this is what I think the Spirit of God wants in me and in you. And he said, that was the very thing which I was also ready to do. I, I also was ready just to eager to do this. I, I had a desire to take care of the poor. And so I'm, I'm using the word remember today to remind you that the call of God over us as believers is let's take care of people who are less fortunate than us or people who are in poverty and poor. Let's, let's put our hand out. Let's put something in our hand to help take care of their need. Let's pray about that. Lord, today, I'm sure one or more of us is going to cross paths with somebody who's in effect, destitute and struggling and, and hurting. And we're like Jesus' feet and Jesus' hands. You called us to be such. And so I'm praying you'll anoint us and humble us and cause us to be really alert that we'll just be your vessels extended to people who have need. Oh, help us not to draw back Help us to be pushed forward into the need around us. Thank you for the opportunities that are going to come to us today for your glory. Amen. Let's go out and act like we're believers. Okay? Have a great day.